hello assalamu alaikum and welcome back to intel machines this video is going to be very interesting because in this video i will tell you that how can you use your jupyter notebook to create slides and presentations in the last two videos we have a detailed walkthrough of jupyter notebook including a separate video on markdown option if you have not watched that video yet then i will recommend you to please watch that video too but before starting this video let me share a brief and quick introduction of intelli machines with you you might be new to this channel so let me share a quick introduction in intelli machines we are currently covering python course from scratch to advanced level similarly we are going to cover deep learning machine learning and artificial intelligence from scratch to advanced level in our next videos so if you are interested in any of them then please make sure to subscribe intelli machines right now so that you can get updates of our next videos and don't forget to share this channel with your friends let's start it okay back to the business here you have to open your anaconda prompt okay i will click on it and here you have to install a tiny tool by using pip command pip install mm, rice it will take few seconds to install okay so you can see it has been installed fine so quickly now i will go back and open my jupyter notebook I will select my Jupyter notebook working folder file. Okay. So these are the already open tabs. If you can see this tiny icon here, then it means you have successfully installed Rice on your PC. Using this tool, we will create slides in Jupyter notebook. Okay. So here I am going to create my first slide. I am going to make it a heading using Markdown. Okay. Also I am going to quote it. Creating slides and on Jupyter Notebook ok so this one is my main slide now I am going to add some further lines welcome to Intelli Machines and I am going to make it a sub slide now I will show you that how can you use this skip function in your slide let's say I am writing I don't want this line in my slides because of this error ok so I am going to skip it from my slides now let's add a fragment ok I want to write something here to remember what type of slide it is it is a sub slide and with it I am going to write fragment ok and now I am going to add a final line let's say I want to write 2 plus 2 here 
fine and I am going to make it a sub slide mm, heading size is large I want to resize the heading okay fine now I can run the slides in two different ways either I can click on this icon or I can press alt plus R button okay let's see okay so here you can see it is my first slide here I can either click on this down button or I can press space bar to jump on the next slide okay so that was my sub slide that was a fragment please notice here one thing that between these two lines there was an additional line if I go back and exit this presentation mode then you can see that after this sub slide line and before this fragment line there was an additional line that I choose to skip from this slide type I choose skip that's why it's not appearing in my slides okay so I am going back into the slide mode now one more thing if you want to go back to your previous slide then you can press shift plus space bar okay by pressing shift plus space bar you can go back to your previous slide now let's move to our final slide now here you can see I am in a presentation mode but I can still edit it and execute it that's mean you can also edit your code during your presentation so that's all for today if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe in telemachines right now and share this video with your friends